Battlefield 6 is an upcoming first-person shooter video game that is being developed by DICE and published by EA. The latest entry in the franchise, Battlefield 5, was released back in 2018, and fans have been expecting a new title to be announced that will be optimized for the next generation of consoles. A lot of the rumors surrounding this new Battlefield title are also closely tied with a Battlefield 3 remaster, so we will cover those rumors as well as they come up. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those writers. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about Battlefield 6. The first official news for the game starts back in late 2019 during an EA Quarter 2 Fiscal 20 earnings call. The CFO of the company, Blake Jorgensen, said that Battlefield 6 will release during the next fiscal year, which means it will release in fiscal year 2022, which means a release between April 2021 and March 2022. Jorgensen also did confirm it will launch on next generation consoles, but it won't launch right away, as in this winter, because they want to take advantage of an install base over a year or two after the consoles have already come out and players have picked them up. Rather than launching the game too early into next generation and missing out on sales just because the install base is lower than it would be for current gen. So expect the next Battlefield, most likely Battlefield 6, most likely only on next generation consoles with this type of statement, although it is possible it could come to current gen as well. And then for the next story, we have to jump all the way up to April of 2020. DICE announced that the regular content would be ending for Battlefront 2. The studio also confirmed in April that the June content update for Battlefield 5 would be the last major content update for that game as well. Now both of these games, Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 5, consumed most of the DICE team, so formally announcing they would be slowing development allows them to work on future projects, and this biggest future project is Battlefield 6. Then in late April and early June, we started to get rumors of what this next generation Battlefield could look like. Tom Henderson, a notable gaming insider, responded to a community member's comment praising Battlefield 3. Tom responded saying you'll be a happy bunny next year then, in response to this fan's outpour in support of Battlefield 3. Tom clarified further on his comment saying the setting and direction of the next Battlefield game will take elements of Battlefield 3, but it will not be a remaster, which led fans to start to speculate and anticipate a modern Battlefield again. So having another modern Battlefield is exciting, and what elements they will take from Battlefield 3 are unknown, but it is really exciting because that was a fan favorite title. And these rumors were backed up by another gaming insider, this time a reporter, Jeff Grubb, who also confirmed that the game is taking place in a modern setting based on the rumors he has heard. And then we already started to see early work done on the game in June of 2020 from EA Play 2020 event. We got a look at a few different things, a face of a character, a lot of soldiers on a battlefield, and some new building falling simulations. Which is exciting, fans just got to see what's possible with Next Generation and what DICE is working on because their visuals is one of the biggest selling points of their games overall and they always usually do a really good job. Then later in June we got the news that a Battlefield 3 remaster could potentially be coming before Battlefield 6 is released from another notable Battlefield insider, Daiquiri. This leak is interesting because it shares similar elements of leaks we've heard before about Battlefield 3's impact, but this time kind of with different information. Now this insider claimed that Level Cap, Westy, and Jack Frags, all of whom are big and notable Battlefield YouTubers, have all known that EA is working on a Battlefield 3 remaster and have been gauging public interest since pre-production started for the game by making videos on Battlefield 3 and making more videos than they would have. But this is all once again just what the insiders claiming. 
The insider also claims that the videos they have been making on Battlefield 6 rumors are not made in good faith because they already have connections at DICE and they already know what's coming in Battlefield 6. Now, the original video Daiquiri posted has since been removed, but Daiquiri went on to say that the Battlefield 3 remaster will include all the DLC packs for the game, and has been worked on by DICE for quite a while, and the plan was communicated with YouTubers sometime after the release of Battlefield 5 in 2018 to start making videos and building up hype for Battlefield 3 again, engaging interest for this remaster. Daiquiri also claims that Battlefield 3, the remaster, will launch for next generation consoles. The leak also states that the Battlefield 3 remaster is not Battlefield 6, but instead is going to be released near or around the same time, similar to what the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster and Infinite Warfare games did, which were both released in 2016. Now it is important to say that with all insider information, take it with a grain of salt, and could be wrong just for the sheer fact that plans do change constantly in any business like this, so it is possible it could have been right at one point but could have changed as time went on. And technically both of these rumors could be true, so the first insiders are claiming that Battlefield 6 is going to take inspiration from Battlefield 3 but say nothing of a remaster, while this new rumor is saying that no, it still could be heavily inspired by Battlefield 3 but we're also going to get a remaster on top of that. And at the end of the day, we don't have to wait too much longer to see what we end up getting if it is going to be a remaster plus Battlefield 6 or just Battlefield 6 itself with the elements of Battlefield 3. Either way, I think fans will be excited and happy, so it just comes down to what they're doing behind the scenes. It's also important to note that Daiquiri's video on the topic has since been removed. It looks like it has just been removed by Daiquiri themselves, and we aren't sure either if potentially they removed it because they ended up realizing their information was wrong or talked to another source, or if it's something behind the scenes they were asked to remove it by DICE. We just aren't sure, but that can be seen however you want it and you can take it all with a grain of salt as I said. Then in August, Tom Henderson took to Twitter again to give some more information on Battlefield 6 that he knows of. He says, Battlefield news, maps have been designed with 128 players in mind, but 32 versus 32 will also be a standard playlist. He also followed up in another tweet and said Battlefield News, There's also been an increased interest in Battle Royale due to the success of Warzone. No confirmation of a Battle Royale in the next Battlefield yet, but EA and DICE could be planning a free-to-play Battlefield experience. And the news of a Battlefield Battle Royale is not surprising. Call of Duty has had some great success with their take on the Battle Royale genre, and DICE might have their own ideas to make it unique with their style of gameplay, but there's no other real news or confirmation with that. Then we get into some more of the conspiracy theories and rumors that have been debunked. To a string of numbers posted by Nicholas Ostron, the senior designer at EA DICE, the numbers itself were 88.23-52941-76-47058823-5294-117-64706. Now, the string of numbers has stumped the community for the past month, and no conclusive answer has been solved for the mystery. When fans started to realize this and weren't making any progress, they actually reached back out to Nicholas and he said himself that he will not explain what the numbers mean because if he does that then the mystery is over so everyone will just have to wait and guess. Which this rumor, this is a true one, it came from EA itself and I think it's more just teasing fans and getting them excited. Now when we get into the crazier side of rumors, and it really all starts on September 7th when Jack Frags uploaded a video about Battlefield 5, and at the end of the video showed a stopwatch with a ticking noise. Which by itself really doesn't mean anything, but Nicholas Ostrand responded to the Jack Frags tweet about the video with the words tick tick tick, seemingly referencing the end of the video, and the community started to put their heads together re-watching the video and thinking if a Battlefield 6 announcement could be coming soon, given the clock, the ticking, coming to an end, and potentially we could see a teaser soon. So that's where it all starts. 
And then two days later on September 10th, the official Battlefield Twitter account was removed from Twitter, which got fans even more hyped. Combining this with the string of numbers, the Jack Frags teaser, it seemed that this could potentially be a marketing move by DICE, or they were revamping the Twitter account for the next announcement, and all these different things were connected. Now, it didn't take long for an executive producer at DICE to respond to these rumors and say that the account still exists and that it was most likely just a technical difficulty. But the weirdest part of the entire thing is that when the Battlefield account was restored, that same day, the first video they posted was a Battlefield 3. And nothing else from the account was different, the profile picture, the name, the cover image, all the same, the only thing they added is saying what while posting this video of Battlefield 3. Which once again had fans thinking that this was a big marketing stunt to push the Battlefield 3 remaster that Daiquiri had posted about months prior. But as of now in October, DICE has still not announced any sort of remaster and we still really aren't sure what this Jack Frags teaser was for or the string of numbers and if this Battlefield 3 video posted had anything to do with their Twitter account being removed. So that's why we get into the crazier part of the conspiracies because we still really don't have answers. And then the last rumor we have to talk about is from the account T-E-E-E-T-8831-8895, -E which is a Twitter account which was created on September 10th as well, and included a video that seemed to be a teaser for Battlefield 6. Audio from the video matched with radio chatter in Battlefield 3, so once again it connected back to these Battlefield 3 rumors and had fans thinking a remaster could be possible. Unfortunately, the account and tweets were only fan-made and were not some sort of elaborate ARG for fans to discover clues on the next Battlefield or remaster. A big text document was posted apologizing for the inconvenience that the account may have caused, and they said that they created the account to bring the community together and to not cause problems. They stated they were just excited for what's next for the franchise. And that's really where we're left on Battlefield 6 news. Of course, any franchise as big as Battlefield is going to have potential leaks and hoaxes, and it just comes down to which ones you believe, whether you think that Battlefield 6 is the only thing DICE is working on, and that it will just take elements from Battlefield 3, or if potentially DICE is working on Battlefield 6 and outsourced a Battlefield 3 remaster and we could be seeing both, similar to the Call of Duty situation, or what DICE is going to decide. So I guess where does that leave us now? So we have it confirmed that the game is coming out on the next generation of consoles. Still no confirmation on if the game will come to current gen, but I guess I wouldn't hold out hope for that. Most people assume a holiday 2021 release is most likely, which means an announcement at the latest in early 2021. We still haven't been able to decipher that string of numbers, or we still really aren't sure if it's related to Battlefield 6. And as for the possibility of a Battlefield 3 remaster, I'm split. Both insider sources have good track records, but the fact that Daiquiri deleted their video when they have other leak videos that are still public leads me to potentially think the information was wrong, but that's just my opinion. Who knows, we still... I could be proven wrong, and it'd be great to be proven wrong and to get a Battlefield 3 remaster. But either way, that's where I'm going to end this video. We don't have to wait too much longer to see what's next for Battlefield, and I'm excited to see what DICE has been able to accomplish since the only gameplay or engine trailer we've seen was so long ago and was very early in the process. It'll also be interesting to see if they tie Battlefield 6 into some sort of Battle Royale game or game mode as well. And for the most part, that is everything we know about Battlefield 6. Make sure to like and share this video, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.